The centre of the circle is at the point 2 minus 1, and C passes through the point 5 minus 3. The straight line L passes through the points minus uh, 3 and minus 2 and 3, 7. Show that L is a tangent to C. So what we're going to do is find the equation of the circle. We can find the radius quite easily, and also the equation of the line. Substitute one into the other, and then check the discriminant for the resulting quadratic is equal to zero. That will show that it is a tangent. So for the circle, which is C, the radius will be the distance between 2 minus 1 and 5 minus 3. So it's going to be 5 minus 2 and minus 3 minus minus uh, 1 all squared. It's an application of Pythagoras. That will give you the square root of 3 squared plus minus 2 squared, which will give you the uh, 3 squared is 9 plus uh, 4 squared is uh, 4. That will give you the square root of 13. Then using that as the centre, then the equation of the circle, C centre 2 minus 1 R root 13, will be X minus 2 all squared plus y plus 1 all squared, because this is minus 1, is equal to the radius squared, which is uh, uh, 13. For the line, the gradient of the line will be 7 minus minus 2 divided by 3 minus 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 3, which will give you 9 over 6, and we'll cancel that down to 3 over 2. The equation of the line will be using y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1 will be y uh, minus minus 2, which is y plus 2. So we're going to take this point here. It's equal to the gradient 3 over 2, which is going to be uh, x minus minus 3, which is x plus 3. If we That will give me the line y is equal to 3 over 2x plus 5 over 2. Uh, so we multiply that by a 3, we get uh, 9 over 2, take away 2, which will give me 5 over 2. Okay, we'll call that equation 1 and equation 2. Just write this out again. Okay, what we're going to do is substitute that into here instead of y, and then we'll get a, a quadratic. So substitute 2 into 1. We get x minus 2 all squared plus uh, my new y, which is 3 over 2x plus 5 plus 1 all squared is equal to 13. And it looks quite uh, tricky, but it's not as not as tricky as it, as it could be. So we've got x minus 2 all squared, and then we're going to have uh, 3 over 2x plus 7 over 2, 1 all squared is equal to 13. The expansion of x minus 2 all squared is x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then we're going to get 9 over 4x, and then we're going to need to do 2 times 3 over 2 times 7 over 2, which is 21 over 2x. And then we're going to have 49 over 2 over 4. It's still equal to 13. So collecting like terms together, so collecting these together. So you can use your fraction button on the calculator and get this quite easily. 13 over 4x squared minus 4x plus 21 over uh, 1 over 2x will give you 13 over 2x uh, plus uh, 65 over 4 when you do 4 plus 49 over 4, uh, 4 is equal to 13. Write that out again. All right, we're going to take 13. So we're going to have 13x squared over 4 plus 13 over 2x plus 6, 13 over 4 is equal to 0. Going to multiply this by 2, so we get a common denominator, this one here. So that will give me 13x squared over 26x plus 13. And because they're all over 4, I can ignore, now ignore the denominator. Dividing everything by uh, 13, we're going to have x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. So using the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac for quadratic, we're going to get 2 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 1. And we can see we're very easily going to get 4, take away 4, which is 0. And then write down the conclusion. As the discriminant is 0, therefore the line touches the circle at one point only. And therefore the line is a tangent to the circle. 
And then finally, here's a diagram of the whole situation. Our circle, the point given on the circle, the line with the two points, and we can see that it is a tangent. Okay, this has been a video to uh, sh show you that a line is a tangent to a circle. I hope you've understood. Uh, in the notes of this video, you'll find a link to my video site and where you'll find thousands of videos to help you with all topics in A-level maths. And um, maybe you could consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much for watching.